Hello, this is Paolo from Runquiz and today episode is number four, Runquiz daily number four and uh, I will answer a very common question, how to bind URLs and anchor tags. So what I mean by that is uh, whenever you, uh, whenever you're creating a uh, run quiz, either link profile or submission using simple uh, link profile, you usually provide a list of uh, URLs and list of anchors. But what if you have uh, specific requirements that for every URL you have uh, specific keywords, or might be even uh, for URL you have a set of keywords and you don't want. Um, I don't know. So there are tons of examples. Let's say you have a directory and you have a sites on the uh, dentists and you have uh, chiropractors and you want all dentist URL to have uh, dentist keywords and chiropractor keywords have um, chiropractor URLs have a uh, chiropractor keywords. Should you create several submissions for each of them? Runquiz has a binding format when you provide URLs with the keyword attached to URL. And let me switch and show the um, actual format. You can see this is URL and then pipe and anchor text. So whenever you provide, uh, whenever you bind an anchor text to URL, it always supersedes any other configuration. Let's say in the link profile, if you have a set of keywords and down you have a list of URLs, as long as you have a keyword attached to the, to the URL, it will supersede and will always use anchor text from the um, binded um, anchor text. So what if you have multiple keywords? That would be uh, typical the, the classical spin text format. So basically it's URL, pipe, and then in Spintex, a uh, set of uh, anchors. So now I'm going to show the actual examples where we can do it in link profiles and simple link profiles. And uh, also we added it and done for your orders. Let's say I go to link profiles and create new profile. So by default, we have one keyword and one URL, just uh, to make it simple. So whenever I, if I click preview, you'll see that created all 10 examples, of course, using one single URL and one simple keyword. But if I have another URL, So you can see that one URL has no binded keywords, so that for, it will be taking it from all uh, anchor configuration, primary, secondary, with all distribution. But if you have binded anchor text, it will always supersede. So go, and you can see that the first URL, Google, will create it with the keyword, and second, uh, always using the binded keyword. And as I showed it for the multiple, URL, pipe, spin text. Let's say um, PBN Web 2. So all three together. So the simple URL will use anchor configuration. URL with a binded keyword will use anchor text binded. And if it's spin text, it will be randomly um, choose the anchor text from uh, from the list. So if I go preview, you can see that this is non-binded. This is run quiz, and this is Bing. Now, if I go to the uh, submission, of course, if you set up a link profile, so that's going to be used as is, but very often we use uh, what's called a uh, simple link profile. So when you uh, create a submission and write there, place URLs and um, here it is. This is what we call simple link profile. Exactly same rules. So you usually provide a um, list of URLs and anchor texts. So that will be Go check. 
All right, so then um, you can combine this approach exactly the same way. So you provide a list of URLs and a list of keywords, and if URL has bounded, uh, bound uh, keyword uh, anchor text that will be using from the URL never goes from the list. So if you have all URLs with the keywords, you provide them in a Spintax format, but you can also provide some URLs that will be generic using this format. And uh, the same rule goes to the uh, done for you services where you'll be asked for URLs and anchor tags. You can use exactly the same approach. So again, so if you have requirements, one URL should be look when you have a list of URLs, but you don't want random anchor text selected from the list, whether you're using link profiles or simplified link profile. So you can use this format and uh, system will uh, use this and ignoring all other settings. That's uh, that's all. Thank you for watching and thank you for using RunQuiz. I'm, I uh, started receiving the suggestions for uh, other uh, daily episodes, so feel free to send it in the either Facebook groups or uh, our Facebook group or might be by email and I will uh, answer those questions in the following episodes. Thank you for watching.